In this video, I'm going to show you how to find your Coinbase wallet address. If you're planning to send crypto to Coinbase, then you will need your wallet address and it's critical to pick the correct wallet address and network because if you make a mistake, you will risk losing your funds. As always, nothing in this video is financial advice and I accept no liability for you losing your crypto or sending your crypto to the wrong address. And if you're in doubt or new to this, then I recommend sending a small, tiny test amount of crypto first. If you don't know what a wallet address is, then it's a string of characters used to send and receive crypto. Each address is unique and varies by cryptocurrency and will also vary if you pick a different network for sending your funds on. For example, if you send Ethereum to a Bitcoin address, you will risk losing your funds. So you must always pick the correct wallet address for your deposit. So to find your wallet address on Coinbase, you will need to log in. Then in the top right of the screen, click on the send and receive button. Then click the receive button at the top here. By default, this shows your Bitcoin wallet address and QR code for this. However, to find another cryptocurrency wallet address, click the word Bitcoin, then search for your desired crypto or scroll through the list. Some cryptocurrencies can be deposited on multiple networks. For example, if I pick Ethereum, you have the option to change the network up here. And it's important to check which network you are sending your crypto on. If you select the wrong network, then you risk losing your crypto. For this, I'm just gonna keep this as the default Ethereum network. And there's a warning saying that if you receive crypto over the wrong network, you could lose your funds. So be sure to choose the right network. And they reiterate what I said, if in doubt, send a small amount first. So I'm gonna press I understand. So now you can see my Ethereum wallet address down here and the QR code for this address. If you change networks, for example, if I put this on Arbitrum, you will see that the QR code and address has also changed. To copy the address, you can click on the button to the right, which looks like two sheets of paper. Alternatively, you can scan the QR code with a mobile device, as this contains your address also. As mentioned earlier, if you're transferring crypto for the first time, it's always recommended to send a small amount first, and it's always worth copying the address or using the QR code rather than typing it manually. Anyway, if you got any value from this video, then please smash the like button and don't forget to subscribe as I upload new finance and crypto related content every week. And now that you've got your wallet address, you may be wondering what's the difference between a coin and a token. So I recommend watching this video next. It's been Ollie from Get Geek Finance. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.